Yo, what's up, Blackish fam? It's your boy B. Uh, yo, we're gonna continue checking out some Toby Nguyenwe. Uh, I'm not gonna lie; he's probably one of been one of the uh, my favorite artists that I've found and started to check out on this channel. Uh, man, his his music just does something for you. And he said something important. I was watching uh, just a brief portion of this documentary, and he said that uh, he's trying to be an edutainer right? The mixture of education and entertainer. Uh, and I'm like, man, that's so awesome. That's just, that speaks so much when you want to, that's the right, one of the things that we're trying to do with this channel. Uh, you know, I love Black Lives Matters and I, I definitely support the movement, but it's so much more than acknowledging the problem. There needs to be a series of re-education and I'm not too confident in our school system. Yeah, even when we have these big conversations about critical race theory and uh, the, what the, the curriculum that we teach in schools, it's like, yo, our kids know all this about Christopher Columbus and Amerigo Vespucci and um, all these people of yesteryear, but they don't know anything about themselves, right? They don't know about the civil rights movement. They don't know about leaders. Uh, they only know what, you, you know, in Black History Month, what, Rosa Parks, MLK, maybe touch on some Martin Luther King Jr. Um, but do they touch on Mansa Musa? Uh, uh, what is it, Claudette uh, Colvin? Uh, or, or, you know, the, uh, do you know who Marcus Garvey is? Um, do you know about people that were, uh, you know, uh, instrumental to making the change happen? It wasn't just Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, he had an entire crew of people with him. Uh, that were working uh, uh, during the civil rights movement, and their stories are equally important. Uh, so I understand his vision, right, for education meets entertainment, because sometimes you do what you have to do, uh, which is entertaining to reach the masses, to build a platform so that you can educate while you're entertaining. And he drops those hidden gems in every time. And we try to do that with this channel as well. Yeah, we'll go over some new hip hop. And, uh, you know, you know, I'll we'll talk that talk and go break down the lyrics in an intellectual way. Um, but I also want to tell you uh, about and drop in little tidbits that can hopefully uh, navigate this world better uh, than you would without it. Right. Um, but without further ado, we're going to get to a section of uh, the, Toby's previous work. Uh, and it's listed under the originals. Hashtag Get Twisted Sundays. Uh, and I noticed that these uh, there seems to be more production in them. I love how lyrical he is. The lyrics are there. It's just, um, yo, but I, I don't know anything about this. I'm going to get right to this one called Fuego. Uh, let's explore it. Let's check it out together and uh, support this artist. Yeah. Get to us a Sunday. He looks like Kimbo Slice in this. Who knows who Kimbo Slice is? For those that don't know Kimbo Slice, you know, he made a name for himself doing these uh, kind of bare knuckle street fights, right? He did a little MMA as well. He's dead now, uh, but he kind of has that look that Toby has in this video. <laughs> yeah. Not trying to roast you, bro, but. <laughs> Off top. Get you out. The hood got him another nice like, slip now. Nah. I was a former champion like a pit stop. I used to want to grip grind to my wrench lock. Oh, Yo, run that the... back. I could barely see nah, the lyrics. Like, slip now. Nah. Yo, heavy metal slip knot, right? The band. Yeah, yeah, off top, get go out. The hood got get that money. Like slip now. I also from a chain like you get what he's saying, right? The hood got heavy metal, right? Like pistols, but heavy metal, like slipknot. Can't stop. I used to want to grip grind to my wrist lock. Oh, now I want to be in WI3. It's little buddy sound point like Kyrie. Ooh, sound point like Kyrie, right? Kyrie Irving running point. Uh, but he, you know, he wants some something like that, right? That BMW, that I3. My mama told me never let a sucker try me. But if you do, draw blood like an IV. <laughs> Yo, that kind of reminds me of Malcolm X, right? Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the Nation of Islam. Malcolm X says, uh, Yo, uh, you know, I'm not for all that. We shall overcome. Uh, I'm with it, but uh, we need action, right? Malcolm X says, uh, Yo, I'm all about peace. If you want peace, then I come to speak to you in peace. But if you put your hands on me or any part of our movement, now, uh, we will make sure that you never put your hands on anyone else again, right? <laughs> you know, I, I like that because it's like, yeah, we need progress, uh, but we also need action. And uh, sometimes uh, you got to be a little bit extreme to get your point across. Yo, sick with it. If you do draw blood like an IV, I'm not a fucking dog. 
Without a gun, I was trying to the tax block. Low key, that came for the dog. But she gotta see it again if you try to draw. All beat. to get this reference because it's mentioned it's no, known differently across the country uh chl is a concealed handgun license uh but it's kind of like out here in chicago it's called conceal carry it's not called chl people wouldn't know that acronym uh, but that's what he's talking about yo you want to fight uh you ain't gonna be too happy because yo fat got that that concealed carry license you know i tell people the same thing i actually put a sticker on the house and I have a sticker on the side of my, my, my SUV. And it says, uh, this owner is armed. Nothing inside is worth living your, uh, losing your life for. Just to make them think twice. Like, all right, bro, I might look, you know, tall, dark, and handsome, but I'm getting a little old. People might try to try me, right? And it's like, nah, bro, you mess around and lose your life. Fuck with me, bro. <laughs> He said, yo, I'm trying to get my mama out the, the RAV4, right? The Toyota RAV4. It reminds me of uh, Kanye's lyric. Uh, he says, what you think I rap for? To push a fucking RAV4? Man, if I stay stunting, all these girls only going to want one thing, right? I can smell my life. goodwill hunting. <laughs> yo, yo, just sick with it. He said, yo, my mama look better in a black Porsche, right? She's classy, right? And she, she, she deserves more. Trying to get my mama out there for I can feel like she would better on the flat. Peel off. I can ride this beat to the wheels off. Ooh. Yeah, I'm up to the only time I feel soft. Pray go with the flow speed real soft. Ooh, that pray go, right? Who knows about that pray go sauce? Uh, you mix one of those with the Walmart great value brand. Woo, whip it up, bro. Spaghetti be on point. Come on now. I'm up to the only time I feel soft. Pray go with the flow speed real soft. Well, that's straight out the jaw. Ask around my hood, they know who we are. If they don't, then they probably a mark. I'm like, you can jump up at every depart. In the swat, or the west. Every bar is finished with people depressed. I need every penny, won't settle with less. Trash on the radio, and really keep me abreast. I want the current though for manipulation. This is my community. Astronomical coonery, fancy cars and jewelry don't influence me. Ooh, I think bro, listen to what he's saying, right? Think about coonery, right? When back in the day, if they said you were cooning or being a coon, you were dancing and acting a fool for the white man, right? Or sometimes not even for a white man, just for you to get ahead because they only showed you, uh, they portrayed you in life acting a fool. You had to be this silly dude, dynamite, right? Ooh, look, what's that? That looks shiny, right? He's like, yo, man, stop with the coonery, right? Listen to how people are trying to manipulate you in your own hood, right? A lot of people don't realize this. I might do a video on this at one point, but do you know that most of the corporations in the world, the biggest corporations you can think of, all answer to a select few companies that are at the top? And those few people at the top, you think you really have a choice between Pepsi and Coke? They're, they're partially owned by the same company, right? And then Coke owns all of these beverages and Pepsi owns all of these beverages. If they want to manipulate what you drink or why you decide to drink something, they can do it. And you think you have a choice, right? You have the illusion of having a choice, but really you're being manipulated and pushed and guided. Uh, why do you think you love Louis Vuitton? Why do you love Gucci belts? Uh, Lamborghini trucks, Rover trucks. Is it because you understand the quality that goes into them? Or do you understand the hype behind them? Have you been influenced by media or uh, big shiny things, right? That you ever see the image of the donkey that has something tied to his head and then there's a carrot dangling? And he f spends his whole life chasing this carrot. Uh, not realizing that that carrot ain't shit. You buried past hundreds of carrots on the way there. Um, but people have told you that this is the best carrot in the world. And here you are, the donkey. Now, uh, if you don't know, donkey's another word for ass. Get real in an annuity, or at least a solid year of jubilee. That's why I speak tips like one to one. Yo, bro, Yo, man, shout out to this chick. I know her name is Nell. Uh, I found that out going through these videos. Bro, she is just sick with it. I don't know if she creates all his beats or produces all his music, but you see her live 
slamming down these beats and just vibing out. Man, I heard her. Man, do yourself a favor. Look in the past in the playlist. I'm going to have a Toby Nwegi, uh, Nwegi, a playlist. Uh, look for Debo. Man, I saw Debo. Her and Fat just killed it. Man, took me to another level. Just I have a whole other appreciation for what they do, the creativity and artistry behind it. Just sick with it. Astronomical cooler, if that's it, cause a jewelry don't influence me. I think every hood needed a new one, or at least a solid year of jubilee. That's why I spit tips like much, and I love it because it's only a two minute, a two, a two and a half minute song, but it's a 15 minute breakdown because we have to go back and make sure we're not missing any of these gems. Astronomical cooler, if that's it, cause a jewelry don't influence me. I think every hood needed a new one, I think every hood needs an annuity. Annuity is something that builds value um, every year, right? You put money away in an annuity. And this is out of your uh, jubilee. That's why I... Yo, that's not a word you hear often. Uh, jubilee, now, it, depending on the context, right, it can mean different things. Because a jubilee uh, is a celebration of an anniversary or a special event. Um, it's it, it sometimes it's the anniversary, anniversary itself, right? Um, in Judaism, uh, yeah, I know I might say that, uh, <laughs> the, uh, the Jubilee year is uh, a year of freedom from enslavement. Uh, it's celebrated every, every 50 years, I believe. Uh, but now it means something different in Hebrew. Uh, it's the end of, uh, it's like a year with different cycles. Um, so, uh, yo, that could mean a lot, but let's just run it back to make sure we get the context. Cool, if that's it, cause a jewelry don't influence me. I think every hood needed a new one, or at least a solid year of jubilee. That's why I spit tips like going to a day and host a slow day right there, you niggas. Woo! Love that, bro. Especially being from the shy, bro. Chicago had a thousand people that died last year. Homicides, right? Uh, only a fraction of those get solved. Uh, listen to what he's saying. He said, I spit tips like gratuity, right? A gratuity is a tip. If you're uh, in the service industry, it's normally 20%. You leave gratuity when you go visit someone in the service industry. But he's saying, I leave tips like the tip, but I'm I'm giving you tips and advice to lead your life. The gratuity is to like slow the rate of eulogies. Eulogies are what you give at what somebody's funeral, right? Where you're like, it's a celebration of life for young B. You know, he lost his life in the mean streets of Chicago when they're giving a, a, a eulogy. So he's saying, I'm trying to slow that rate down by sharing this knowledge, right? And again, man, sick with it. Again, if you're a fan of, of doing the same thing, again, where education uh, meets uh, 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 entertainment, right? That's what we do, we're trying to do on this channel modern day griots we're passing down information from one generation to the next that you're not taught in schools something that tell you how to make money in this world right how to buy homes how to set up generational wealth and but more importantly how to move in these streets especially if you don't have a big brother or a dad or a mom or a sister right how do you how do you make moves how are you a person of integrity how do you stand up for what you believe in uh, yo, he's saying all these things and just the flow, man. Get with it, right? And I wish it was too early. Truthfully, every night one needs some scrutiny. Okay, basically, they put us to push buffoonery into the schools of red. Let them. Yo, it was pushing buffoonery, right? Acting like a buffoon. It's like, you know, it's, it's, it's crazy. They're, they're trying to get you to act a certain way. And then it just feeds into this image of who you are. And, yo, what happens, uh, you know, if, uh, uh, you know, think about a psychological operations campaign, right? When you go, when you go to attack a, uh, uh, Osama bin Laden or uh, Hussam, uh, uh, Saddam Hussein, right? They do something called a psychological operations campaign. It's a military term. A search, do some research on it. Uh, but they use music. They use propaganda. They use, and a lot of times these people don't know that they're being manipulated. Right? What are you being fed through hip hop, through commercials, through politics that makes you feel a certain way and makes you act a certain way? Because it feeds their narrative, right? Because when you control how people, the image that you portray, you can justify the treatment of them, right? If you tell some, tell somebody that hide your kids, hide your wife, they're raping everybody. Well, you can justify 
uh, attacking those communities uh, in the search of, of the greater good, right? Um, so listen to what he's saying. Like, yo, people want you to be a buffoon. They want you to be doing the, the coonery, right? They want you acting uh, acting a certain type of way because they need to keep that going. The worst, the, what they don't want is an educated young brother uh, that has a platform that's spinning knowledge and bringing people out. Like, yo, uh, how many times have you heard that you're the minority, right? It starts playing with you like, man, I'm the minority. I'm never going to have a say. Brother, I, 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 you know, I don't want to uh, burst your bubble. Uh, and I'm sure it's not a bubble to burst, but we are not the minority. Uh, most people around the world are some form of a person of color. Think about that. If there was any sort of unification, if there was, if we unified and we were strong and, and stood firm for what we believe, man, there's so much that we could accomplish, but it's in the best interest of the powers that be to keep us fragmented, right? To isolate, to segregate, to get us against each other. What do we hate on others about the color of the skin? You know how many times I heard people say, ah, bro, you ain't black. You like black and white or something, right? Are you Puerto Rican? Bro, you got good hair. How's your hair so... We hate on each other for the stupidest things. Why? Who taught you that, right? Who taught you to hate yourself? Who taught you to, to push hate into the community? Bro, I can go all day with this, man. Let's get back to Fuego. This is hot. I tell countless people that I don't rap for pesos. My partners tell me that I need chips in case so they see the flow is fuego. So Alfredo is what they think I'm after with the Draco. Getting high and live is hot the first go. I tell them that I move when y'all say so. Hopefully they all attain a halo. Jeff is really about to go to Lego. Yo, he's saying hopefully I obtain a halo, right? Hopefully I go to heaven one day. But I'm out here trying to speak the truth. People are like, yo, you out here trying to get that queso. Right? That's another word for cheese. Like, you out here trying to get your bread. It's like, ah, you know, that might be a product, uh, right? That might be a byproduct that we create through the movement because of the momentum and the platform that I need to have. Again, do what you have to do to do what you want to do. Yeah, I need money. Uh, yeah, I got to take care of my fam and I need a platform. Uh, all I need is one mic though, right? How am I going to get that platform? Yo, it's through these bars. It's through this music. Get with it, right? Support I'm me. I'm trying to get your journal phone to payroll. If I'm Aristotle, he is Plato. I do this for the coaches like I'm Plato. And for the people that don't know who Aristotle and Plato are, should have paid more attention in high school, right? But when you get to college, you'll go over it. There's so much more that can go to Aristotle and Plato that I can't summarize uh, in, in just a, a quick uh, reaction video. But the main difference uh, between Plato and Aristotle, uh, they're, they're thought leaders, right? They're philosophical. Uh, the philosophy of Plato is more theoretical. It's abstract in nature. Uh, whereas uh, the philosophy of Aristotle is more practical and experimental in nature, right? So Plato was, uh, he was a pupil of uh, Socrates, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, basically what that means is he's like an understudy, right? Um, uh, while uh, Aristotle was a, a pupil of Plato, <laughs> if that makes sense. Again, these are guys worth Googling. Uh, one day we might want to simplify uh, some of their uh, philosophical endeavors, if you would. Um, but uh, I don't know if it's something quite right for this. We definitely more, need more time. But, you know, just sick. This is a brother that is educated, right? Uh, this is a cat that, that you need to listen to, right? Control where you get your advice from. Uh, you know, I always tell the teenagers in this household, I say, yo, don't ever ask how to buy a Lamborghini to somebody who's driving a Camry, right? They don't know how to make the moves in the world. They don't have the knowledge yet that you're seeking, right? This is a brother that has that knowledge. Uh, yo, it's a, you know, you wouldn't be mad if this was the type of music that was influencing the next generation. <laughs> Man, and uh, yo, rest in peace to Sinead O'Connor's son, right? She's known for her bald head and, uh, you know, she struggled with depression and stuff on her own. I know recently, just at the start of 2022, um, her son took his life. It seems like he also struggles with depression. And yo, you think that money is everything? Think about the uh, rich or well-off people that still take their life, and you would think that they have every reason to live. Money does not solve all issues, bro. And tell me, I'm a person that's 
made moves and had a level of success in my life. And uh, trust me, I get more, uh, I'm, I, I feel more passion for passion projects like this, Blackish University. Um, I don't really don't even uh, care to get paid for, right? I'm doing it uh, just to get education knowledge out there, right? It's fun. It's become a hobby for me. Um, but yo, money is not everything, man. And uh, the, the sooner you realize that, the easier and the better life will become. Do what you love and what you have a passion to do, and the money will show itself. Sound of beat is play though. I do this for the culture like I'm Quavo. Push it, push it just like OG Mako. But don't forget to slow it down and find them. Why every hood be on the body? Oh, listen to what he's saying, right? Think about it. Why is every hood divide and conquer? Why is it that in an area like Chicago, we have all these broken off street gangs? Do you think that these young kids understand the meaning of uh, being a vice lord? Uh, what a gangster disciple is? Do you know who Larry Hoover is? Have you uh, heard his perspective as to why GDs were created? What about the Black Panther movement? Now you think about this. Now, how strong would it be? You talk about unity, right? You have an area like Chicago. Now, how how would it be if all the gangs united and had a common hierarchy of power? Think about the voice that that, that movement would have, right? If, if we became one and we said, you know what, we're going to stop killing each other and we're going to put young brothers on, we're going to create businesses that we're going to support in our own communities, and we're going to use funding, City of Chicago funding, we're going to use it ourselves, and we're going to put people to work in our own community to rebuild our communities. And we're going to put ring cameras up. Uh, we're actually going to call the police and get people off the block. We're going to stop buying weed and drugs in our own communities, right? We're going to stop supporting uh, people that uh, perpetuate violence in the hood. Think about how strong that movement would be and the voice that we would have when it comes to electing a city official. If we don't want you as a city official, uh, bro, man, we have, we have spoken, right? Uh, think about the, the, uh, the voice that we would have. We can demand a position at the table because we're unified. And if we want to all vote for someone, it's like being in a union, right? Think about the Chicago Teachers Union or Plumbers Union. Uh, or, you know, if you know anything about Jimmy Hoffa and organizing unions, uh, it's the power in numbers, right? And think about it. Who's incentivized by breaking up the hood, right? They want that. Why do they want that? Because nobody has a say. Who's the leader of uh, the vice lords on the west side? Uh, the GDs on the south side. Uh, a certain on the north side, uh, who's running? Well, the Latin Kings seem to do it a little bit differently. But you know, think about that. Think about uh, if you had like, oh no, no, B runs that area. Yo, if you want to, if you want to be elected alderman, uh, you got to go through the the community. And if you want to be elected alderman, uh, no, you know we don't want to hear no commercials on WGCI or input whatever black radio station. No, we want real change. We want to know specifics about how you're going to handle crime in our community and how you're going to deal with things like uh, legalization of marijuana, right? It's disproportionately affected our uh, people of color for decades. There's still people in jail uh, for weed crimes, but there's people out here now that are making millions of dollars uh, selling legalized weed. Now, if that's not jacked up, now in Chicago, they were supposed to put set aside uh, uh, basically licenses so that you can get involved uh, with legalized marijuana and people that were uh, had drug crimes. Uh, it was going to be easier. But what they don't tell you is that for some of these licenses and, and some of this uh, the, the 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 paperwork that you have to go through, it takes thousands of dollars, right? And and just like, yeah, you're trying to help someone in the community, and I get it. But you also need to think about some of the barriers. When you say that something might be a $20,000 license and you need to renew it annually, to somebody from the hood that's trying to get involved, that might as well be a million dollars, right? You need to make things obtainable, attainable, um, so that people can grab them and people can see that there's other ways to make moves besides selling drugs and playing ball. Like, yo, I can go on for days, man. Let's get back to Fuego. 
fucking ball. Sinead O'Connor, shout out me, go for bad and bullshit. In 05, I was bagging bullshit. I was so live, just a savage student. I had so ties with the baddest who just make things. Excuse me, I get mesmerized when I think Yo, run that ball. back a little bit. He said, yo, yeah, shout out to Migos for bad and bougie, right? He said, in 05, I was bagging chicks. Yo, we've all had those days. And don't, don't judge us, right? Yo, I'm a fraternity guy. Shout out Omega Delta, Beta Chapter, Northern Illinois University. Yo, man, I was a recruitment chair. We've had our fun, right? That doesn't mean that we don't want positive change in the world and we don't have a voice. Uh, so you know, that's what he's saying, right? Like, yo, don't judge me. I've been there. You know, I, I hit a few chicks back in the day. <laughs> you know, I, I've done my dirt in the city. And, uh, as people would say, I've earned my stripes, right? Uh, but now, listen, I'm trying to put you on knowledge, right? I'm trying to put you on game. So bad and bullshit. In 05, I was bad and bullshit. I was so loud, just a savage student. I had so ties with the baddest who I <laughs> Excuse me, I get mesmerized when I think about just how far I came. Hello, excuse me, I got exercised. Uh, 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 Elohim or Elohim, as he says, that's like the living God, right? Um, I think about this, how far I came. Hello, excuse me, I got exercise. All them demons died, now the flow is flame. I'm going. Woo! Fuego! That means hot, right? That fire. Hot like fire. Yo, just sick, man. What this guy represents, man, I just want to be part of the movement, right? Yo, just uh, pushing knowledge into the community. Like, yo, if you ain't with it, get out the way right we got to educate as many people as we can that yo you are being manipulated bro you're being manipulated and you don't even know it bro get break out of that bro start getting this money stand up for your family stand up for who you are it's okay to be smart right <coughs> excuse me um but yo it's okay to be smart it's okay to be intellectual it's okay to question the world around you it doesn't make you uh, any less of a thug, right? Yo, like Nas said, make sure you're a thug, an intellectual too, an intelligent too. That's where a real thoroughbred is, right? Everybody looking for the thoroughbred, the, the pit bulls, uh, but you ain't one yourself, right? You really want to be the, the, the most dangerous man. The most dangerous man is the one that, uh, that there's no, you ain't no bitch, right? You, nobody's gonna punk your family. You can stand up for what you believe in, but he also knows the value of true education, right? The value in the internet, the value in books. Like this is my course, uh, constitutional law. I still educate myself, right? I want to know and put that knowledge out to people that can't grasp it yet, and just help get our people out of this, uh, this, uh, the, 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 the shackles that we've been in not just for the last few decades, for literally hundreds of years, it's been some other type of shackle, right? Some other type of limitation. Uh, they don't call you slaves anymore. They call you criminals, right? They try to justify how they treat us um, by perpetuating this cycle that we just go right along into. Yo, if you're a fan of not just entertainment, but education as well, man, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, you know, we're doing it big and we're going to do it even bigger for Black History Month. We got some really cool things coming, uh, but we will stop and break down some Nas, some Kanye, some J. Cole, some Joyner Lucas, right? Some Logic, some Eminem. Uh, we're going to still get to the new stuff, but we're going to pepper in a little knowledge there, right? What is that, Salt Bay? We got that. We got that coming.